Hi, in this video we will be learning how to complete home practice for speech sound disorders at an isolation level. So isolation means um, practicing the sound by itself. Your speech pathologist will guide you as to what level your child should be practicing at and this may vary within a practice session. For example, if you are completing minimal pairs, minimal pairs practice and your child is not managing to produce the correct sound, you may step back and do a few trials of the sound in isolation. Or if you're following traditional articulation therapy and your speech pathologist will guide you as to which approach you're taking, um, you may mix up some isolation practice along with um, more complex targets such as nonsense syllables and words because this has been shown um, to mixing the complexity has been shown to improve learning. So we're using an app called Articulation Station Hive and I'm just going to click on the letter that we'll be practicing. So in this case, this is that L sound. And then I'm going to select, select isolation. And we've got a few different cues here, but for this one, we're going to be looking at the hand cue. And that's because it gives a really good model of that L sound. So for example, you just press play. Oh, so you can say to your child now, what shall I open, what shall the lady opens her mouth wide and puts the tip of her tongue behind her teeth and makes a long, loud sound. Can you do that? Oh. And then you can, um, then you can give some, some feedback, um, just as your speech pathologist has guided you, um, within the session. So if they've done it correctly, you can say, wow, I love how you got your, the tip of your tongue behind your back teeth, behind your teeth. Can you try that again? Ugh. Or um, if they're not doing it, you can cue, say, try, try that again, but put the tip of your tongue behind your teeth. Yep. Um, and that's the end of our video. Thank you.